What's up, everybody? Anton Crayley here from ecommercelifestyle.com, and welcome back to the podcast. So if you're watching this podcast as a video on YouTube, probably looks extremely familiar to the most recent episode we did, which was where I shared my ad template for remarketing for Facebook ads. And if you haven't seen that one yet, I will post a link in the description of both the YouTube video and the podcast, because this one just builds on that. But basically what happened is I finished recording that podcast, and I thought, you know what? I should do another one of these that shows how we use YouTube for remarketing in combination with Facebook to get the best return on ad spend. Now, YouTube obviously is a huge platform. I think it's the second biggest search engine in the world. I know I spend a lot of time there learning all different types of stuff, listening to music, um, watching podcasts like this. So a lot of people do, and it has a lot of reach. What that means is you can create ads there and you can get your ads in front of people very easily as what are known as pre-roll ads. What that means is somebody goes to watch a video and this channel doesn't have ads on it, but if you go to watch a video on a channel that does have ads, before the video starts, you'll usually see an ad start running and then after 15 seconds, I think you could skip it if you want to, or you can watch the whole thing. And that is the ad type on YouTube that works best for us, okay? The pre-roll, the skippable ads that play either before, in the middle, or after another video that the user is watching. Now, I'm gonna go through how we set this up, but again, if you're watching this, I have the kind of same setup on the whiteboard to show you how this kind of works, again, together with Facebook remarketing. It's not one or the other, we do both. You can do one or the other, but they work better if you're kind of everywhere to everybody. So just like before, the way to make this work is to make sure the traffic that's coming in on the front end to your Shopify store is as qualified as possible. So people that are either organically finding you or through Google product listing ads or any of the other traffic methods that I teach inside of my coaching program at Dropship Lifestyle. Make sure you have really high quality people visiting your store to begin with. And again, let's assume we have a 3% conversion rate. Three of them will buy right away, 97 out of every 100 won't, and they will be gone. And when they disappear, they get put into our Facebook remarketing like you already know. But here's where we add on YouTube as well. Now, YouTube is owned by Google. And in order to run ads on YouTube, the first thing you have to do is make a Google Ads account. If you don't already have one, just make a Google Ads account. And then when you do that, inside of your Google Ads account, you can create audiences, very similar to how we create them on Facebook. We do it a little different here though. And I'll use red again if you're watching this for how we do this. But with the people that visit our website, on uh, Google, inside of Google Ads, we make an audience of all website visitors. So I'm just gonna write 180, so I have a 180 day visitor list. And that audience, just like with Facebook, is constantly being replenished as people reach the end of it, they're going out of it. And then as somebody visits our website today, they're going in. So it's an auto updating dynamic list of people that have visited our website. Now, once you make that audience on Google Ads, what you wanna do is make a new campaign. So when you choose to create a campaign inside of Google Ads, it gives you a bunch of options, but the first thing it asks you to choose is what is the goal of this campaign? And it has like leads and sales and website clicks, and you would think like, oh, sales, I want that as my objective. No, you don't. You wanna click the button that says create without guidance, and I think it even says not recommended, but make sure when you're setting this up, you choose to not have guidance, because what you really want from this, because it's a remarketing campaign, Campaign is to have everybody see it because the people that you're gonna be targeting with this campaign are the people that visited your website. So you don't need Google's help trying to optimize for sales because you know who you're gonna be showing your ads to. You're targeting that list of website visitors. Now here's where things get a little bit different. So after you choose create a campaign with no guidance, you're gonna choose the campaign type. And this is where you could choose like, oh, I wanna make a Google shopping ad, or I wanna make a search text ad, or a display network ad. You're gonna choose video, because that's what you wanna do. And then the most important thing is the next step, it says what type of video ad do you wanna create? You wanna create what's called an ad sequence. 
And this was probably released like a year ago, the ability to do this, maybe a little less than a year. But what's awesome about this is it allows you to put as many videos as you want into your ads account and choose the order in which you want the visitor of the audience to see them. And the way they phrase this, I really like, they say like tell your story through a series of videos. And that's exactly how you should think of this. Because instead of breaking this up like we do on Facebook where we have a three day audience and a seven day and a 14 and then our catch all, what we're doing here is choosing however many videos we want in this sequence. And then we're telling uh, Google Ads, show them you know, video one first, then video two, then video three, then video four, and video five. Again, however many you want. But what's cool about this is, let's say I went to your website today and you used this campaign template. I would go ahead and maybe I didn't buy. I went on YouTube to watch I don't know, some sports highlight. And before the video, uh, before my video that I wanted to see started playing, I would see video one from your company. Now let's just say I watched 30 seconds of it, maybe it was a two minute video and I skipped it, whatever, I moved on. Well now, maybe later in the day, I go back to YouTube to watch some podcast, a video podcast. Well before that played, I would see your video two. And let's say I didn't go on YouTube for three days, but then I went back and I started watching another video, then I would see your video three, and so on and so on for however many videos you want in your ad sequence. Now, something I'll say is I know not everybody is comfortable with video. You don't have to be. A lot of the videos that we use are just keynote or PowerPoint presentations with voiceovers, so that's totally fine. Um, also, if you have any user-generated content like testimonials, that works great too. And then as far as the messaging that you want to put in your different videos, it follows the same type of messaging that we put inside of our Facebook remarketing campaigns. Again, if you didn't hear that podcast yet, look for a link in the description, go back and check that out. But it starts off basically with just a straight up call to action. Hey, we realized you visited antonswhiteboards.com. You haven't purchased a whiteboard. Just want to make sure you know that we have blah, 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 whatever the unique value proposition is, you know, click the link, go to the back to the website, get your whiteboard today, whatever it is. Have that there. Then maybe you do like two different variations of that. Again, this is stuff you could test up to you, but if you did two variations, maybe you have variation one for, run uh, one run first, then two run second, then you would get maybe video three to be your first social proof ad. And maybe if you have any press online, that's where you're doing a video showing like an article, or if you have any, again, user-generated content, testimonials, that's where you would plug them in, have the person view that before their, uh, their video on YouTube with, of course, links to go to your store, go back and buy. And then as you get further along as well, maybe now you're in video four or five of your ad sequence in Google Ads, that's when maybe you say, hey, we realize that you still haven't purchased from antonswhiteboards.com. If you go back today and place your order, we are gonna give you 10% off any item in our store. Then right on the screen, again, you could be recording like a PowerPoint presentation, use coupon code YouTube10, whatever it is, to save 10% off your order. Click the link, go to the website, purchase, do your call to action in the video, and then you can have those run for, again, another few videos. Maybe you make a variation of it, right? Start a different way, and you have maybe four, five, and six that are promoting that. Then same thing, just like before, you're still going to have this audience, right? It's a 180 day audience and it doesn't sync up with exactly where the person is, again, in the funnel, like how far away they are from visiting your website. Instead, it syncs up with how much they're using YouTube really. So if somebody went to your website 30 days late, um, somebody went to YouTube 30 days after they went to your website and that's the first time they went to YouTube, they would see video one. Now, Remember, you are excluding buyers from this as well, so buyers aren't seeing it, but it could kind of start and stop based on the usage of YouTube from the website visitor. But with that being said, what's cool about this, just like with everything else that I was talking about with Facebook, because this audience is 180 days, when you're doing different timed promotions throughout the year, again, 4th of July promo, Memorial Day, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever it is, you can make a new campaign on YouTube in Google Ads and target target this whole audience. So you still have that catch-all effect, but again, the timing is a little bit different because it's not based on when they visited your website. I mean, the starting point is, but however long it takes them to progress through it is based on how often they are watching uh, YouTube videos that have ads enabled. But this is what we do, guys. Follow the same structure, just broken up a little bit differently. Works amazingly well, super simple to get set up. Again, you don't need a huge ads budget because you're only remarketing to website visitors and it doesn't cost a lot of money 
money to reach smaller audiences. So highly recommend it, get it set up. And as always, if you got value from this podcast, please go over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star review. Helps us a lot, helps us get the word out, helps this podcast grow. By the way, we're at hundreds of thousands of downloads now, so thank you, that's amazing. Um, Wanna get to a million though, that's the, that's the goal this year. So definitely um, leave, that, leave that review if you can. And then finally, yeah, if you wanna learn more about this, see like inside of my ad accounts as I set this up, definitely check out my coaching program. You can learn more at dropshipwebinar.com. So thank you everybody, I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you in the next podcast. See ya. Hey, what's up guys, Anton here again, and I hope you got some real value out of that video you just watched. If you did, you should definitely check out this one or this video right here. I do two new ones every week. You'll see a subscribe button right here. And if you want my free training that is two and a half hours long of value with 237 niches, click this button right down here. It'll take you to where you need to go.